Well, good morning, YouTube, once again. I just made a video off the street about the stolen copper house that I filmed a few years ago, which was kind of stupid and hilarious. But anyway, this is the former Food for Less grocery store, which burned down a few months ago. And the owner has said that they are not going to rebuild here. So another food desert that so just one less grocery option in in the food desert of Dayton Ohio this is in East Dayton and I did a video of the demolition of when they were you know demolishing the place a few months ago but but anyway uh oh so this is more sad news for the area because the only other grocery store that's anywhere near here is the Kroger's on Smithville Road by 35. And besides that, you got to, uh, besides that, you got to go further out into Beaver Creek to either Walmart or Myers to find another grocery store. So, Myers and Walmart. So, this is just another sad thing for the area and the owner i guess the cost of rebuild was too much i don't know if he just didn't want to rebuild or if his insurance wouldn't have covered enough of it or what the whole story was but it was announced about two or three weeks ago on the news that he wouldn't rebuild i haven't had time to get to too many videos recently although i did get to some videos a couple weeks ago well, actually, last week I did a couple because I had something going on last month and I just didn't have time for videos for a few weeks. But so, you know, while well, you have all these dumb idiots and politicians that say, oh, how downtown is improving and thriving, which it's not, that's a big lie. And while the neighborhoods just continue to fall further apart, so the people that don't have transportation they either have to get on the bus to go to the grocery store or they have to get a ride with somebody to go to a grocery store so and of course trying to shop grocery shop on the bus or trying to uh, get a ride with somebody to do it that's not always an, an easy thing to do so yep another nail in the coffin for East Dayton and for the city of Dayton in general and food desert just a food desert you have a few carryouts nearby but that's not like a full service grocery store like the residents need it's a shame that it's not going to get rebuilt here but I'm not surprised you know due to the area that this is in this grocery store was an okay grocery store. It was mainly a discounted grocery store. I mean, it, I mean, it, it, I mean, it had, it, it had a decent amount of what you need, but it didn't have near the selection of a Kroger's, Myers, or Walmart. And also, a couple miles from here at uh, at Airway Shopping Center, Aldi's moved out about a year or two or three years ago into Beaver Creek to Fairfield Road. So even another discounted grocery store was lost from the area about one or two, three years ago whenever Aldi's went from Airway Shopping Center further out into Beaver Creek. So there's really not much left for the residents to pick from. Although compared to some areas of Dayton, I don't view this as nearly as bad of a food desert as I would, you know, West Dayton and Drexel. And Trotwood, where you probably have to go about 15 minutes or so to get to a store. Here, if you drive, you could drive within 10 minutes to to either Kroger's or Myers and Walmart in Beaver Creek. But yes, yeah, just another nail in the coffin, so to speak, for this area. And you know, I've lived in this area over. I, I have lived in uh, East Dayton for a long time, so I got quite a bit of familiarity about what's going on here. But it's just another sad example of why the city 
you know, just continues to fall apart. And probably within a few days, this site will be cleared. Uh, once they get a few more dump trucks, they'll have the they'll have the debris removed. But anyway, that's it from the food desert and of, of East Dayton, Ohio and Dye in Dayton, Ohio in general. That's it for this one.